What can you expect after injections in the eye? This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care Hyderabad. Now we have been given injections for various conditions, including macular degeneration, macular edema, PDR, diabetic retinopathy, vein occlusions, and so on. Intravitreal injections have become extremely common in the management of various retinal problems. But what can you expect? Can you have any complications following these injections? Will you have pain when you're undergoing the procedure? And how fast is the procedure? Now, how we do the procedure is like this. We put drops in the eye of the patient to anesthetize the eye. You do not require a local anesthesia, an injection to anesthetize the eye. Just drops are enough. And these drops numb the eye for a few seconds. Within those seconds, we measure exactly where we go into the eye and we give the injection 3.5 millimeters from the limbus in a phakic eye, three millimeters from the limbus in a pseudo phakic eye. Now that means if somebody has a lens, natural lens in the eye, or if a patient has been operated for cataract, you measure it differently. And then we inject this drug into the eye. Now, as you can see, because we have anesthetized the eye, it is a painless procedure, but there are needles available in the market which are so blunt that should not be used to treat patients because blunt needles, when they go inside, they cause severe pain. If you are having pain, it's because the needle used is blunt. Actually, very fine gauge needles, which are uh, good quality needles should be used. Once this needle is injected inside, the drug is injected and the needle is withdrawn. So what you can experience is probably some amount of redness in that area. That depends upon whether there are blood vessels in that area of conjunctiva where the injection has been given. You may see some bubbles, some objects floating around in your vision because now a drug has been injected inside the eye. But this normally does not cause any harm unless there is a problem with the drug. Now, if the drug which has been given is contaminated, yes, there is a possibility of severe infection in the eye called endophthalmitis. But that is extremely rare if we are using good quality injections to treat your condition. Now, endophthalmitis also is treatable with injections. We have to give antibiotic injections. Sometimes surgery also may be required, but uh, the condition is treatable. So what is important is that you consider the benefits versus the risks for an injection. Some patients come saying, uh, we heard that somebody became completely blind after an injection, so we don't want to go in for it. It's not like that. There is, it's very rare to uh, actually go blind after an injection unless the drug was con contaminated and they developed an endophthalmitis or the injection was not uh, given in the correct area and the lens has been damaged or the retina has been damaged because the injection has not been given correctly. These are the possibilities, but that's why we go to retina specialists for these injections. And in spite of that, it's extremely rare to develop a retinal tear. It's extremely rare to suddenly have an increase in cataract inside the eye uh, following an injection. But these are the possible complications following an intravitreal injection.